Hello! Day 101, 101 of Fat Girl Slim 365. You'll notice I've been absent, <clears throat> AWOL, some might call it, for the last four or five days. I think I checked in on Friday night after my swim, but basically for about the last week, I've been on a, what as Scots might call, a shugly nail. <laughs> now, it's a bit of a, at this point in my success, historically, I fall off the wagon and I don't get back on. Round about the three month mark. Um, I start to feel better about myself, I look better, I'm getting compliments and um, something in my brain <clears throat> either thinks, oh, right, well I can maybe light up a wee bit, or I think subconsciously I try and sabotage myself and there's a lot of deep and meaningful psychological reasons for that, but uh, I've had a I've had a lot of therapy over the years for it, and nothing's ever cured it. So whatever little little wee fat demon is in there, um, at, at this point wants to make me fail. Um, and it's my my wee fat demon. So ultimately, it's me that tries to make myself fail. So I was thinking last night. It seems to have triggered it when I decided to do more exercise. And since then, I've hardly done any in the last six days. I've went for a couple of walks. I've been swimming a couple of times, um, but that's it. So I made the decision last night that enough is enough and I need to get back on track before it snowballs and goes any further. And when I got up this morning, there was a message on my timeline from Sam Booth, thank you who must have had a wee bit of a sixth sense and put a message on saying, where are you? I uh, haven't seen any posts for days. And um, that just reinforced the wake up call that, you know, this is a, a challenge for a whole year that I've committed to, but for the rest of my life. So I'm going to have times where I'm not successful every day, but that's okay as long as I get back on the horse and keep going, keep galloping. Um, if I fall off a couple of times, then a wee bump and bruise here and there, it's, it's no big deal for the ultimate goal. So thank you to everyone who's supporting me still and all the lovely things that people say. And and um, it's been suggested by my other beautiful friend, Steph, who's away in Miami Beach in Florida. I um, hope you have a lovely time. It's been suggested that I be brave and take the step and put my my go, go get funding or whatever it's called <laughs> go fund me I can't remember but basically put the link on so I think I'll do that later on tonight okay I've just done a swim 30 minutes because I couldn't stay for aquafit because I've also been using Brutus as the excuse that you know for the first three or four days yes I did need to be there after work to settle him into his routine but he's in a routine now um so I'm not going to use Brutus the Pig as an excuse anymore for not fitting in my exercise every day because all I need to do is get up a wee bit earlier um, or organise my time better at night time and I can fit everything in. You can achieve anything. Sounds cheesy, but you can. People achieve a lot more than I'm achieving under much worse circumstances. Okay, so 34 lengths in 30 minutes was what I was about to say before I digressed again. Um, so I don't think I've lost any speed or strength with this wee six day setback. Uh, so I'm not too worried about it. But um, my official way in goal, you know, time scales wise is at 120 days. I'm 120 days, then 240 days, then 365 days. I've split it into three. So although I'm getting weighed in regularly, my actual kind of milestones, Steph called them, my actual milestones are 120, 240, 365. So I'm going to set my goal tonight, reset my goal for my 120 days because I've not really set that yet. And then we'll see where I go from there. I'll tell you how far I've got to go to meet it. Um, and I can do it. I know I can do it. Okay, I better go. It's starting to rain. I need to go and see my pig and have my dinner and and uh, kiss all my wee doggies. I love a wee dog! 
Okay, see you tomorrow. Love you, bye. Love you, bye.